Well, it, uh, it, it just meant everything. This, this is what we'd been striving for and dreamed of all of the years from the late 40s up until all during the 50s. We had uh, opportunities during the 50s, had good teams. But uh, this was special and uh, uh, we played the, the state tournament, I said here, we stayed, played it in Blytheville. And Blytheville had a new gym. They, uh, they were in that gym, I think it was the second year. So we had a new gym later than, than, uh, than Blytheville did. Uh, it was a, a great area event. Uh, all the, a lot of basketball fans uh, in this whole area at that time. And uh, Jonesboro was usually a, a very good competitor, but they didn't have a good team that year. And so they, uh, they were beaten, I think, in the second round. But we played, I think it was Hope, Arkansas, the first game. We played Harrison, the second game. We played Little Rock, Central, the third game. And the fourth game was between Leechville and Forest City. Have you ever heard of Donnie Kessinger? Have you not? Donnie Kessinger was probably uh, the greatest all-around athlete I've ever seen. He was about 6'2", he was very slender, but he was very strong. He was a four-sport letterman. He played baseball, football, basketball, and track. And the, the district track meet over here at Arkansas State in 1960, he ran the 100, the 220, the 440, ran all of the relays. He was a, uh, a first round uh, pick for Ole Miss. And he played, and he went on a baseball scholarship. That's how good he was in baseball. And uh, he, uh, he played basketball, and he was all Southwest Conference. Well, it's all Southeast Conference, I mean, then. That's where the University of Arkansas was in it. He was just a great athlete. Now to show you how good an athlete he was, he got a uh, baseball contract with the Chicago Cubs. And he played for the Cubs for several years. The White Sox needed a manager and the White Sox and the Cubs, either one were doing very well during that period. So he goes over and he coaches Chicago White Sox and he would play, he was manager, and he would play and manage the White Sox. So he had quite a record. And uh, he was, uh, he wasn't the best basketball player I've seen or I've played with or against, but he was one of the best athletes because he was just, he was quarterback in football. They competed for the state tournament. He was in the final of the state tournament for basketball. He was just an outstanding athlete. And, uh, and to go uh, coach and manage two teams in Chicago, that, that was very unique. Now, is that the team that you guys beat for the state championship? Yes, we beat uh, Donnie Kester in Four City in the finals in 1960. And so that was quite, a, quite an event for the town. And uh, it was just something that Leachville had dreamed of for so long, it, they'd come so close. So that was kind of the, the climax of a great, great uh, history for the town of Leechville.